World number one Iga Swiatek has been on fire in 2024 with some incredible achievements under her belt. From a strong performance at the United Cup in Australia to her third consecutive title at the Qatar Open, she's been making waves in tennis. And let's remember that her Qatar Open quarterfinals bagel win against Azarenka is her third serving to an Australian Open champion. From Rybakina to Djokovic, this is what tennis legends really think of Iga Swiatek. And of course, congratulate Iga with a great week and her team. After losing to Iga at the 2024 Qatar Open, Elena Rybakina had only praise for the Polish professional tennis player. She said, congratulations to Iga for a great week. In a thrilling match, Iga, equipped with her high-performance tennis gear, won her third consecutive Qatar Open title in 2024. Despite trailing early against Rybakina, the Pole staged a comeback, eventually winning the first set in a tiebreaker. In the second set, she maintained her dominance, securing a commanding 7-6, 6-2 triumph. Done and delivered in Doha. This win made Iga the first player since Serena Williams to win three consecutive titles at the same WTA event and the first to win the Doha title more than twice. Rybakina currently holds a 3-2 lead in their head-to-head -head record, having encountered Iga three times in their past matchups last year. Their last meeting in 2023 was at the Italian Open, where Iga retired after the second set tiebreak loss. Despite Iga facing some challenges on the WTA Tour last year, including relinquishing her top ranking at some point, Rybakina still admires her consistency and talent. In an interview with Tennis Channel, Rybakina praised Iga's remarkable resilience and relentless fighting spirit on the court. She's a really tough opponent. I know every point is going to be difficult because she's fighting and running a lot. She's so consistent throughout the year. Last year and even now, I think it was great results. Just a tough opponent, Rybakina remarked, highlighting her respect for Iga's unwavering dedication and performance throughout the season. Despite Iga's recent win, Rybakina's dominance in their previous encounters has made her a formidable opponent for the Polish star. Rybakina won all three of their matches last year, and with both players possessing impressive achievements, it makes for an interesting competition. With Iga's recent win at the Doha final adding to her tally of 18 WTA titles and Rybakina's seven titles, including her most recent victory in Abu Dhabi, their rivalry continues to capture the attention of tennis enthusiasts worldwide. But how did their rivalry in 2023 go. World number one Iga Swiatek suffered a defeat against Wimbledon champion Elena Rybakina in the 2023 Australian Open's fourth round, ending her consecutive hardcourt major win streak. Rybakina's strong performance led to a convincing 6-4, 6-4 victory, showing her dominance on the court. Reflecting on the match, Rybakina acknowledged the Polish tennis player's talent but emphasized her focus and determination, stating, She's a young player and I think she plays well, and today I think I was serving also good, just struggling a bit on one side, but in the end, in the important moments, I played well so it made the difference. Later, at Indian Wells, Rybakina overcame defending champion Iga once again in the semifinals with a commanding 6-2, 6-2 victory. Despite a brief resurgence from the pole, Rybakina maintained control and secured the win. It's going to be a tough match that I need to show my best. The rivalry took another turn at the Italian Open, where Rybakina reached the semifinals as Iga, coached by Tomasz Wiktorowski and the tournament's two-time defending champion, was forced to retire due to a thigh injury. Unfortunately, uh, I saw something happen like in the end of the tie break and I just hope that nothing serious. Rybikina expressed the difficulty of the match stating, I didn't start that good. However, she showed resilience stating, I knew that I had to be focused. But Rybikina isn't the only Titan in Iga's galaxy of rivals. Arena Sabalenka stands tall as another formidable adversary. It's going to be really tough for me and I have to be I have to be really focused. Their matches are a display of high octane tennis, with Iga noting the need to be tactically prepared for Sabalenka's big shot making abilities, stating, You have to be on your toes and ready. Let them play their game because they're going to use it. In their three encounters in 2023, Iga, powered by her exclusive tennis partnerships, won two matches while Sabalenka took one, making each match closely contested. Their rivalries chapters in 2023 included a strategic win for Iga in Stuttgart, a fierce comeback by Sabalenka in Madrid, and a decisive victory for Iga at the WTA Finals, pushing her lead in their head-to-head to 6-3. -head to to Despite their competitive matches, both players expressed mutual respect. 
Sabalenka acknowledged Iga's greatness, saying she's a great player and what she did last season and what she keeps doing, it's motivated me a lot to improve. In the 2023 Stuttgart final, despite losing to Iga, Sabalenka displayed good sportsmanship and humor. She jokingly asked if she could get an extra car for making another final in Stuttgart, adding a lighthearted touch to the situation. Similarly, in the Madrid Open final, Sabalenka emerged victorious in a thrilling three-set match, praising Iga and expressing her enjoyment of their battles. It's always tough battles against each other. You, you always push me to the limits and uh, yeah. Their rivalry peaked at the WTA Finals in 2023 in Cancun, where Iga, sporting her premium athletic wear from on, sought revenge for her loss at the Madrid Open. She defeated Sabalenka in the semifinal, advancing to the title match. Martina Navratilova, an 18-time Grand Slam champion, shared insights before their match, noting, when Sabalenka's ball comes in fast, the wind makes it easier to handle. Overall, the wind favors Fiantic. With her spin, she's able to navigate those gusts. There's much less that can go wrong with her game. The Pole secured a spot in the 2023 WTA Finals title match by defeating Sabalenka 6-3, 6-2, positioning herself for the world number one ranking ahead of her championship clash against Jessica Pagula. This is one of the goals, like try to get closer to her. And um... in 2024 at the Australian Open, Sabalenka advanced to the round of 16 with a dominant victory, winning 6-0, 6-0. Reflecting on her performance, Sabalenka acknowledged Iga's influence, stating, Last year, Iga won so many sets, 6-0, and I, like this is one of the goals, try to get closer to her. Beyond her thrilling rivalries, Iga's prowess on the court has caught the attention of tennis legends and contemporaries alike. Former Austrian tennis player Barbara Schett highlighted Arena Sabalenka as a significant threat to world number one Iga Sviantec's dominance, particularly on hard courts. Barbara expressed confidence in Sviantec's ability on clay, especially at Roland Garros. We know that she, Sviantec, feels comfortable at Roland Garros, the former Austrian player said. She feels most comfortable, most comfortable on clay, I think, with her spin on the four hand with the backhand and she can flatten it out. The admiration doesn't stop there. Tennis's big three have also weighed in. Roger Federer played a key role in Iga's deal with On, a Swiss running brand, where Federer is a co-owner. He also praised Iga's leadership in the WTA rankings and expressed confidence in her abilities, stating, I'm glad I have people in my team to remind me of the good work that I'm doing and appreciate the progress. Meanwhile, Rafael Nadal expressed his admiration for Iga's remarkable achievement of winning her third French Open title at just 22 years old in 2023. Reposting Iga's Instagram post with the Roland Garros trophy, Nadal wrote, Congrats, you are amazing. Even Novak Djokovic had high praise for Iga's fighting spirit during the 2023 US Open. Well, Iga has been dominating the women's game uh, last couple of years. Djokovic, after his match, commended Iga for her remarkable approach to the game, calling her a warrior and acknowledging her professionalism. Iga has been dominating the women's game the last couple of years. Multiple Grand Slam winner. I love her devotion and dedication. Also, she's got a great fighting spirit, no doubt, Djokovic remarked. Aside from professionals, Iga has a devoted fan base as well. Fans were deeply moved by Iga's heartfelt reflection on her 2023 season and gratitude towards her colleagues. The poll ended her season with a victory at the WTA Finals, reclaiming the year-end world number one spot. In her message, Iga expressed appreciation for the support she receives and recognized fellow players who motivate her to excel, emphasizing unity among athletes. One fan stated, Iga, this brought me to tears. At the height of such an accomplishment, your call is to celebrate all women on tour and the support around you. After the recent Doha quarterfinal, fans praised Sviantec's fearless play, highlighting her bagel wins against Azarenka, Kerber, and Osaka. Comparisons to Djokovic's style emerged. Iga's bakery? Alive and thriving, one fan joked, while another noted her repeated Yazda rallying cry. And after she won the title in Doha, tennis fans celebrated Iga's achievement of becoming the most searched female athlete on Google. Despite previous doubts of her marketability, one fan challenged doubters, stating, where are those saying she's not marketable now? In a comparison to Taylor Swift, one fan hailed Iga as truly a Taylor Swift of sport, recognizing her widespread impact and success in tennis. Iga Sviantec's stellar performances in 2024, marked by significant achievements and intense rivalries, have solidified her status as a tennis powerhouse. Her resilience on the court, coupled with admiration from tennis legends and fans alike, foreshadows a promising future in the sport.